The Han River has long been a lifeline for South Korea, but in 2006's The Host, it becomes the birthplace of something monstrous. The creature at the heart of the film is a grotesque hybrid of marine and terrestrial adaptations, a result of reckless pollution and environmental contamination. But what if such a creature could actually exist? Today, we'll examine the biology of the host's monster, its origins, adaptations, feeding habits, and the science behind its terrifying abilities. Unlike extraterrestrial monsters from The Thing or Cloverfield's Beast, the creature in the host has a disturbingly real origin. It's man-made. The film suggests that its mutations stem from the dumping of formaldehyde into the Han River, a commentary on real-world environmental pollution. Biologically speaking, such a mutation is unlikely to occur so rapidly. However, exposure to extreme pollution could create deformities or introduce genetic anomalies over generations. If the creature is based on a fish species, like a catfish or an eel, excessive mutagenic exposure could have caused its abnormal growth, extra limbs, and amphibious capabilities. There's also the question of whether the creature was originally a single organism or a genetic chimera, multiple species fused together through an unknown biological process. This could explain its bizarre anatomy, which blends fish-like traits with mammalian and even reptilian features. One of the most terrifying aspects of the host's creature is its ability to seamlessly transition between aquatic and terrestrial environments. Most fish suffocate outside water, but some species, like the lungfish and mud skipper, have evolved specialised organs that allow them to survive on land for extended periods. The creature may possess a dual respiratory system, similar to amphibians, allowing it to extract oxygen from both water and air. Unlike most fish, which rely on buoyancy, this monster can launch itself out of the water and sprint across solid ground. This suggests dense, spring-like tendons and a highly efficient muscle structure. The long, flexible tail acts as a counterbalance for high-speed movement, while the extra limbs give it greater dexterity, allowing it to climb and grab prey with precision. This combination of traits makes it a near-perfect ambush predator, able to attack from the depths or strike with terrifying speed on land. The host creature exhibits hunting strategies reminiscent of crocodiles, big cats, and marine predators. It lurks underwater, waiting for unsuspecting prey, before erupting onto land in a devastating attack. Instead of immediately devouring its victims, the creature hoards them in a makeshift nest inside the sewers, possibly for later consumption or as a primitive survival instinct. Given its ability to swallow humans whole and later regurgitate the bones, it may have an extremely potent stomach acid, similar to vultures or sharks, capable of breaking down flesh and bone very quickly. Its rapid metabolism suggests an insatiable hunger, requiring constant food intake, possibly explaining why it attacks with such relentless aggression. The creature in the host is a highly efficient predator, displaying a mix of ambush tactics, pursuit hunting, and scavenging behaviour. Unlike typical aquatic predators, which often rely on camouflage or surprise to catch their prey, this mutant has adapted to both land and water environments, making it extremely versatile. The creature frequently utilises ambush tactics, using the Han River as its primary hunting ground. It lurks beneath the murky water, waiting for unsuspecting victims to come close to the riverbed. When prey is spotted, it bursts out at incredible speed, using its powerful tail to propel itself forward, much like a crocodile or a giant salamander. On land, its speed and agility allow it to chase down humans with terrifying efficiency, as seen in its rampage through Seoul. 
It demonstrates a keen understanding of its surroundings, utilising tunnels, sewer systems and even urban structures to evade capture and stalk prey. This intelligence suggests it may have a degree of problem-solving ability beyond what is typically seen in fish or amphibians. Its ability to leap over obstacles and cling to structures adds to its hunting prowess, making escape incredibly difficult. A unique and chilling behaviour of the creature is its tendency to capture and store humans rather than immediately consuming them. It drags victims to its lair in the sewer system, regurgitating them to keep them for later consumption. This is a trait seen in some predatory species, like large snakes or certain spiders, which immobilise prey and return to feed at a later time. The creature may do this due to its unpredictable food supply, hoarding resources when available. While there's no evidence of the creature working in groups, its complex hunting methods suggest it has learned these behaviours, rather than simply acting on pure instinct. Whether this is a trait passed down from generations of mutated creatures or developed through its environment remains unclear, but its ability to adapt rapidly suggests high intelligence for a mutated organism. The host's monster is an excellent example of a highly adaptable mutant, combining traits from multiple species to thrive in an environment that should not naturally support such a being. One of the most impressive features is its ability to function both in and out of water. This suggests a dual respiratory system, similar to amphibians like lungfish or mudskippers, as stated before, which can extract oxygen from both air and water. It is likely that the creature has modified gills that retain moisture when on land, preventing them from drying out while allowing gas exchange. Given its massive size and near constant activity, the creature would require an immense caloric intake. Its ability to consume both land and aquatic prey means it likely has an extremely efficient metabolism, digesting food rapidly and using every possible nutrient. This efficiency is seen in predatory fish like great white sharks, which can go long periods without eating after a successful hunt. As a result of its exposure to toxic chemicals and pollutants, the creature exhibits extreme physical mutations. It has an asymmetrical body with extra limbs and a distorted skeletal structure. These abnormalities may be the result of rapid, uncontrolled cellular growth, similar to cancerous tumours. However, unlike most organisms that suffer from such deformities, the creature has not only survived, but thrived, indicating an incredible level of resilience. Despite its grotesque form, the creature is highly durable. It can withstand gunfire, physical trauma, and extreme environments. This may be due to an advanced healing factor, or an incredibly tough skin structure, similar to deep sea fish that endure high pressure. However, like all living organisms, it has vulnerabilities. Persistent attacks eventually bring it down, proving that while tough, it is not invincible. The host offers a chilling vision of what unchecked pollution and genetic mutation could unleash. Its monster is not some supernatural force, but a grotesque exaggeration of real-world biology, blending traits from amphibians, fish and apex predators into something both terrifying and eerily plausible. While we may never see such a creature emerge from our waterways, the film serves as a stark warning. Nature may not always react kindly to human interference. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video then please hit the like button, the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of future uploads. I upload a new video every Friday and I would like very much for you to come along and check out the next one. Also if you're feeling generous then you can become a patron or a member of the channel. The links can be found in the description. I'd also like to thank my current members and patrons who could be seen here. This has been the Beware Cast, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.